Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Finger Lakes Racetrack here on Tuesday. It is May the 9th, 2017. You can look at the fifth race from the Finger Lakes, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Today's fifth race from the Finger Lakes is a starter allowance race purse, $13,000. It's for three year olds, which have never started for a claim price of $5,000 or less in 2016 or 17 field of seven horses going the 1600 meter trip or one mile on the main track one mile and if you're ever wondering how to get the meters just take the eight furlongs which equals a mile and times it by two 1600 meters six furlongs times it by two is 12 so that means 1200 meters for six furlongs did you get that? Um, that's as much math, math as I could do. I'm retarded at math. Um, but, um, uh, you know, this is a great race. Seven horses going into it. My top pick in this one, I like the number five horse, because I'm Alex. Uh, I'm going to go 5-3. 4-1 in the Superfecta, 5-3-4-1 Superfecta, but my top pick, number 5, Cause I'm Alex, out of a fleet, Alex who won the 2005 and 2005 uh, Preakness and 2005 Belmont Stakes, remember he had a great move in the top of the stretch in the Belmont, and in the top of the stretch at the Preakness, he nearly came down, but he ran a hell of a race, that horse showed so much heart, um, and I think this horse shows heart also, um, Cause I'm uh, Alex, he, run, he ran some very nice, you know, races over the winter, most recently at Keeneland, a mile 16th and April the 14th in the Star Lounge race for 75. Horse finished third by one quarter lengths with Yuri and Leperu up that day. You know, he closed up a little bit at the end, but he needed a better kick. Um, he, I think today, he should, if he sits a little bit closer, he should have a better run. He's stepping down in loads of class also, so keep that in mind. Those starter lounge races at Keeneland are very tough. But um, start before March 25th on at Aqueduct on the soon-to-be-replaced inner track on mile 70 yards and optional 40 claimer. Horse swung by ahead that day and had a, was a little bit wide that day, but had a great closing kick. Um, remember, if you, the inner track was always speed from the rail, but this horse went against the bias being very wide and won that day off the pace, which is pretty nice. Um, it's going to be great this winter to see the races on the main track without a very big bias and some seven furlong races also. But, um, you know, this horse had a very nice victory. Start before on the 25th of February at mile 16th and option 40 claimer. Horse finished third by six and three quarter lengths. Closed up a little bit at the end, but he was a little bit wide again that day. And you don't want to be wide on the inner track. Um, and then option 40 claimer at Aqueduct mile 70, February 3rd. Horse finished third wide again that day. But he did close up a tiny bit. Um, you know, last year this horse did run in the claiming crown iron horse at Goldstream Park mile 16th, December 3rd. He did finish fourth that day after having a little bit of a wide trip. But, um, you know, he, 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 he ran okay after that. But. But, um, you know, he won here at the Finger Lakes last um, fall. He should have a very good run here today. So to recap my bets for the fifth from the Finger Lakes, going to go with the five horse. Going to go five, three, four, one in the Super Vecta. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter, Tours Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.